Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a long-awaited video. You guys have requested this video so many times and I'm happy that I could finally have filmed it for you. It is a Bath & Body Works collection. Um, I kind of go through, not like a room tour, but just a mini little room tour showing you where I keep my Bath & Body Works stuff, um, how I keep it stored, and um, how I separate it and that kind of stuff. So it's a pretty informative video and I was happy to be able to finally film it for you guys because I know you all were super excited to be able to see this. I also go into my bathroom, into my linen closet, that's where I have a bunch more of my Bath & Body Works stuff. So um, yeah, I kind of give you some storage ideas and if you're on a budget with limited space, this is kind of how would be the best way to organize your Bath & Body Works collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so this is where I actually keep all of my extra Bath & Body Works stuff along that. There's my bathroom right there. I have some stuff in there as well. This is like um, home fragrance, body spray, stuff like that. So I'm going to go through that. This is not the normal home for it. This is my bedroom if anyone's wondering, but this is not, I have the TV and stuff here. This is not where this normally stays. Normally I have it um, over here. This is my uh, dresser, I guess, with a mirror. Normally it's in this corner right here. And if you've been following me for a while, then you've seen it in the background of my videos here because I've got a lot of questions on it. So up here I have some pictures and then here's all my perfumes, which a uh, collection video will be coming up soon on that as well. And then like I said, normally that dust, uh, the little uh, drawer thing sits here. I have some extra candles over there uh, from Bath & Body Works. I house all my anything that I have extra that I'm not currently burning. And then um, up here, I have three candles currently. Um, this is the aromatherapy in the lavender vanilla. This is spice apple toddy and uh, Bellini cranberry Bellini sparklers. So, and then I also have two downstairs, one in a bathroom, and one in my makeup room. But yeah, all the extra ones sit over there. So if you're curious, this thing here is from Office Depot. I have a pink, red, and white one that. I have my makeup in right now, you guys have seen before. This one is typically what people have. I think it was $59.99 and um, it just matched my bedroom better because I have black and white theme in my bedroom so it goes perfectly. And um, the reason that I have it over here to film is so that I can have a lot of natural daylight to be able to go through the products for you guys. Over there is just entirely too dark. So on top, as you can see, I have all of my body sprays. In the back, they, I don't have them in any particular order. I just have them fixed to where I can fit the most on this top thing here because I'm running out of room, and as you can see, I don't need any more. So I have a wide variety. These three here are the coconut ones. I have um, Into the Wild. I think these are the vanilla ones. Yeah, Summer Vanillas and uh, Twilight Woods, and then I have Carried Away. This I actually got from Victoria's Secret, but they do sell it at um, Bath & Body Works as well. But they had it on sale at Victoria's Secret. These two are my like favorite coconut scented whoo, Aloha Pink fragrances. I have Be Enchanted. This Beauty Rush is the only one that I have from um, Victoria's Secret that you can only buy at Victoria's Secret. And then I have four mini ones, um, four mini travel, I guess, body mists, and then I have four of these pink with a splash perfumes here. I also have some of these scent takes that I got a while back at an outlet store. I think they were only like two dollars. I have a scent bug um, that it turns on and I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> it has fragrance that comes out of it. So I just have it up there because it's pink and pretty. So that's the top that I have. If I get any more body sprays I honestly don't know where I'm going to put them because I have not enough room already as it is. So the first drawer, I have some more of these scent bugs here, and then in the back I have some of these extra um, boxes. These are sunglasses, my Marc, ja Marc Jacobs and Chanel. This is my um, Hello Kitty Swarovski necklace, and then a Pandora box there. This is kind of like a catch-all drawer because these scent bugs don't fit anywhere else, and until I use them all, I have no other use for that drawer. This next drawer is just random hair accessories. I have all of my headbands here, my stretchy headbands that have like elastic around them. And then I have more of my sports headbands for when I work out. Some flowers that go in my hair. I usually wear these for H&R Block just to, to make a dull bun into something cuter, I guess. So I have all that here. Again, this is kind of a catch-all. I don't really know where else to put my headbands. If you guys have any good ideas for headbands, definitely let me know because I would love more room for my Bath & Body Works stuff. The next drawer is just pure candles and um, 
lighters. I have a bunch of different lighters. I've told you guys so many times. I have candles literally all over my house. So, I don't know. <laughs> I have random lighters everywhere. And then I have a bunch of tea lights um, for when I light my oils. Next drawer is home fragrance. So, I have a couple of mini candles, which these are a horrible bargain, I have to tell you. There's like, they last not even a couple of, I guess, I don't know, maybe five or six hours and they're like three dollars a piece. Ridiculous. So, in here I have all of my oils from Bath and Body Works and, um, I usually only buy these when they're on sale, when you can get them for like four dollars. I have all kinds of scents. I also have some scent bug refills, which these things go in this. And then I have a whole bunch of these tart warmer things, all different flavors. This brand, the Better Homes, is actually from Walmart because I have a tart warmer from Walmart. But this one is from HEB. But then I also do have Bath and Body Works tart warmers. So I have a sweet pea, warm vanilla sugar. This is pineapple orchid. Yeah, this is like my favorite scent for home fragrance. So I have all that here. And then this next drawer is nothing but antibacterial, which I, I know is like ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. I have an extra one of these like things that holds it. All of these are the mini ones. I mean, I seriously have like, I think this is Halloween. I have Christmas. This one was from summer. I got on sale. I use these things like crazy, so it's not like they always go to waste, but sometimes I don't necessarily use ones that I should first, like from Halloween. I should use those before I use the, the Christmas ones, and I never end up doing that. So I have everything like that in here. The next drawer is nothing but lotions. So I have all kinds of lotions. Um, some newer ones, like these vanilla teeny, strawberry teeny ones are newer. And then I have a bunch of these dollar ones, like this is Aruba Coconut that I haven't actually used yet. Let's see. Charms Life. This one, see, like again, was from Halloween. And um, I just, you know, I'll get around to using them eventually. These are pumps for the either the body lotions or the um, shower gels. Sit on the floor here to be much easier. So, yeah, I just have random lotions here. And then the body creams are actually my favorite. So, if you look in my nightstand drawer right now, I have a um, Vanilla B. Noel body cream. And these are actually better for me than the lotions. The lotions I usually throw in my purse, so I don't go through them as often. This is one random lotion I have. This came with my Jordan Sparks perfume, and I just haven't even tried to use it yet. Next drawer is... Uh, body butters. This is my Aloha Pink that I got. It was actually in my bathroom for a long time, but it was just kind of collecting dust because I would always forget to use it. So I put it back in here. And then I have um, four regular size body butters, and then I have three smaller size body butters, and then a random julep body butter. The body butters are my favorite, actually, for when I get out of the shower. Like right before I'm about to go to bed, I'll rub them on my elbows and my knees. I really don't use these like all over my body because they're a little bit too greasy but I do use them in spots that need a lot of moisturizing. Okay so the next two drawers are actually home fragrance as well. These are the wa wallflower bulb refills for my wallflowers and <laughs> I know you're probably thinking like oh my god that's a ton of wallflower flower refills but I've told you guys so many times that I have so many of them throughout my house so you know this is literally probably like four refills enough to get me through till June pretty much. So I have all kinds of scents. Anything that is out in a bulb I either bought like individually or there's more than one of them like this one. I think this one is pink lemonade and here's the other pink lemonade. But unless they're individual like this one's individual so is this one. So if they're individual I leave them out like this. If they come in a pair then I'll try and keep them with the scent Especially if I have the same color of a lot of them because then I can't tell which is which. But that's the first drawer of them. And then this is the second drawer of them. So again, I have some um, two packs here of different ones. And then I have like up here, I think this is the Caribbean Escape one. And then this is Fresh Linen or Cotton Island, one of those. This is um, Twilight Woods. I don't remember. Let's see, I, I just know that <laughs> like these two smell the same. These four smell the same. This is leaves here. These all smell the same. So, like, I try and keep them colored, uh, color coordinated so that 
I can kind of open it and just remember what they smell like and instead of knowing the exact name of them type thing. So I get all of these for $5 during the semi-annual sales and honestly if you use wallflowers that is the best time to stock up because these are like a two pack is normally $12.50 and most of the time you can get them on a sale of like six for $24 to where they're four bucks a piece. But still, like that, that to me, that's crazy to pay eight dollars for two of these when I can get them during the semi annual sale for five bucks for the two of them. So that's what I do when I house them in this little thing here. And then the very last drawer is actually lush, and I know that's not a part of my uh, Bath and Body Works collection, but it is a part of this little caddy thing that I have. So I actually take my Lush out of the yellow bags and I put them in clear bags here so that I can tell what the product is. Like I think this is Twilight Bath Bomb and I think this is Cinder and uh, Comforter Bubble Bar and I don't know. I don't really, I think those are, that's all I know. This is some kind of massage bar or bath melt. I think this is a bath melt too. But um... Yeah, and I have some sample soaps in here, and then I also have just some extra baggies to wrap some more of my Lush stuff in. So, that's what's in here. I don't have too much. I'm not a humongous Lush fan like I am Bath & Body Works, but I do enjoy the select few products here. Now going into the bathroom, um, which I will be doing a bathroom tour, or like a whole room tour sometime soon. Um, but this is the linen closet in my bathroom, and... I'll go more in depth than this, like I said, in a room tour, um, which I'll be filming soon, but I did want to show you what my Bath & Body Works collection in here was like. So as you can see, my Bath & Body Works eats up a whole half of a shelf here, and um, I really don't care that I'm obsessed. It's fine. I totally understand judgment. You guys know I absolutely love Bath & Body Works. So this first row here, which I don't know if I'll be able to show you if you'll be able to see it, but back there... If you can see, like, all that there is actually, um, the shower cream, shower cream, um, body washes of all different variety scents. I have Japanese cherry blossom, um, I actually have, I think, let me see, I think, like, a yeah, these, like, jelly kind, too. I don't know if it's too dark in here for you guys or if you can see it, but I have the jelly kind, and then this row here... If you can see that there is all body washes of different scents. I have Carried Away, Twilight for Men, Twilight Woods for Men, The Bee Enchanted, um, I can't tell what the other one is. <laughs> and then back here I have an apple and something else behind it, I don't even know. Those two are, are uh, foaming like pump body washes. These are philosophy products right here that I'm not a huge fan of, so I'm just trying to use them up. But I didn't have a better place for them, so I kept them there. These three rows here are actually soaps. And the reason I have so many soaps is I, I think I've told you guys this before also. I have two main bathrooms, a half bath, and then I also put a soap in my kitchen. So, I mean, the foaming soaps, if you use these, you know that they run out pretty quickly. So when I need to replace one of them, it's kind of like I need to replace all of them. So... They actually go five deep. There's five and then three rows, so I have 15. Don't judge. <laughs> and then this row right here actually has six, so whatever. But I'm not a huge fan of these jelly kind. I, they leave stains in the sink, and I don't really care for that. But I am a huge fan of these, like, foaming kind. Yeah, so that's where I house the rest of my collection for my Bath & Body Works. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I was super hesitant as always to film something like that because my collection is quite large. I guess it could be larger, you know, there's plenty of people out there that have more Bath & Body Works stuff than myself, but um, you know, I'm always hesitant because it is quite a large collection and I don't need anyone to think negative things about me. I absolutely love Bath & Body Works, you guys. If you've been longtime followers of me, then you definitely know that because I have Bath & Body Works hauls all the time. So yeah, I hope those of you who requested this video so many times enjoyed it and it was what you were looking for. If you have storage ideas for any of the stuff that I have that you think may be better than how I'm currently storing it right now, feel free to leave comments down below or um, a video response with your storage ideas because there's so many storage ideas that I've got um, from YouTube that have worked out just great for me. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!